Hello guys, welcome to my Lazy Panda Tech Blog. And in this blog, I am going to discuss about how you can create a REST API using Node.js with TypeScript. So, TypeScript is not a new feature. Uh, it is a uh, pretty old nowadays. But if you are still using Node.js with vanilla JavaScript, now it's time to move on TypeScript. So TypeScript uh, is giving you a full place object oriented paradigm which you can leverage to create a decoupled component. You can put your abstraction layer over there so that your code will be robust, extensible and, <coughs> and maintainable. So why we choose TypeScript? TypeScript is basically a compiled version. You can create a TS file which will be compiled in JavaScript, but TypeScript gave you the complete object oriented programming paradigm. And also, it will properly typed. You cannot, you should not use a uh, any operator or just uh, uh, define a property and uh, use it any whether it is an array or it is a number you cannot use it you should use it with proper custom type or primitive type so based on that your code will be compiled during compilation time if you mismatch any of your type it will throw the error to you and say it like you need to put across proper type for your object model or something so there are basic difference between typescript and javascript you can go through of it and there are <coughs> advantages as well and in this blog i am going to create one simple TypeScript based application and this type of architecture diagram I have followed to create it uh, first to initialize the express server express server will have the middleware error handler and router handler middleware will handle the course compression even if, if you need swagger then swagger will be there and error handler will check your request as well as the uh, response as um, it will give you the proper error if you have handled it like 404 401 500 internal error like that you can also extend your error handler as per your need and router router will define how your application will call the different path of your uh, endpoint probably you can have our profile dashboard user that such kind of router so all of those things you need to define here and you need to define the method get post put or delete and accordingly the respective controller and the provider will be initialized it will check which data provider it is going to use whether it is a db or it is an another api endpoint get the response and send it back to the server and server will serve that request to the client now let's see on the application how it looks like so this is the code snippet based on that architecture diagram it is being created so server server will have the middleware middleware have the error handler compression api docs which is nothing but a swagger and util it will have the all error scenarios error handler <coughs> where 400 401 is being defined here you can extend more out here as well error handler will check that handler and it will serve its purpose if sub error happens and then come to service service will have the router so right now i have one single router now only it is profile so profile will have only one single endpoint which is api 
version and profile endpoint the method is get there are some predefined error checking which i have used here which will become under middleware and then the request response request will go there it will check and uh, for the timing i am not using any db or any external api i am just having one simple data source here so i am iterating it and get the name and fetch the proper item out of the array and send it back to the client so let me start it under package.json you will have this kind of command already being written and here I am going to run dev command so the code is running and it is in watch mode meaning suppose if you make some changes in here and let's say user profile and I am saving it it will automatically build the application and run it <coughs> the hot deployment will be there <coughs> so application is running now So it will throw that error missing name parameter and go back to your terminal and you will get that HTTP 400 error happen. So it requires some query parameter. Let's add it. You will get the JSON response here and no error here as well as well as the sugar is also there let me open the sugar as well So you will get the Swagger UI and here you can pass and execute it, you will get the response here. So the code base I will post in github as well for your reference and let's debug the code as well uh, to understand how you can debug it, debug the code in VS code as well. So for that I need to run that server again, go to run command, click on start debugging it will show that few options choose dist slash server dot js and put your breakpoint somewhere here and here go back to your browser here I am just hit enter again you will get stuck in the breakpoint the control flow will stuck in breakpoint so from here you can execute the line you will see what parameter is being passed from browser you will get the object here and continue it you will see the object reference come here so that is it for today thank you for watching and next video i am going to deploy the 
REST API code to Heroku. So feel free to add comments, like, subscribe my channel. Thank you.